All right, hello and welcome everybody. Today is Sunday, February 2nd, 2020, and tonight I'm coming at you guys with floor system test number 46. Hopefully uh, tonight you guys shouldn't have to hear me talk too much. Hopefully it'll be mostly fire alarms tonight. Um, I have a couple updates to share after the test, but tonight I'm just going to dive right into it. So uh, nothing much has changed from the last test, uh, except for all the notification appliances. The pole stations are the same. I know I said I wanted to change the um, 2099 but I haven't gotten around to doing that yet. I don't have a whole lot of time tonight. So um, yeah, that's still there. But the, uh, I'm sorry, the notification appliances on both systems have changed. So you guys have seen all of these alarms um, elsewhere on my channel probably several times but I'm not sure if I've done this particular combo before maybe I have maybe I haven't but I really have no idea because I haven't um, gone back and watched all my old um, floor system tests I need to do that one of these days but anyway for the um, NAC1 appliance on the 4010 is my EST Genesis G1RF HDVM Horn strobe. On NAC2 of the 4010 is my um, System Sensor Spectral Alert Advance. I believe the model is SR or something like that. I can't remember, but that's the device I got, one of the devices I got from the um, 2000 South uh, Naperville Road building demolition. Got my Simplex um, Pre True Alert 4901 9820 horn only. That I bought off of eBay and one of my two 4904-9168 free run um, strobes. I want to say it's uh, either 15 or 30 candela, but that came out of one of my dad's buildings. So anyway, um, now I'm going to do something a little bit different <clears throat> tonight, just since I believe my neighbors are home and I have two very loud alarms here. Alarms here. Um, I'm actually going to activate the systems separately. I'm going to do the 4010 first, silence and reset it, and then I'm going to do the 4005. I don't want to be setting these two alarms off at the same time. The True Alert and the Genesis are painfully loud. So loud, in fact, I'm actually using hearing protection, which I have not used um, in quite a while because I usually um, can withstand <clears throat> the noise of the alarms, but these guys are just a very... Uh, these two particular alarms are very, very loud. So I'm going to set the camera down really quick while I put on my hearing protection. I will activate the 4010 immediately, or not immediately followed by the 4005, but following the reset of the 4010, I will activate the 4005. So here we go with the 4010. Three, two, one. that was pretty darn loud <clears throat> and I don't want to keep these running too long either I do have neighbors so I'm gonna try to be um, polite and respectful of them even though um, you know the walls here are pretty good you know they can definitely still hear it in the other units even if it's really quiet so let me uh, set the camera down again so I can reset the pull station <clears throat> alrighty I'm going to put a reset in the 4010, make sure it's actually resetting. There we go. One thing I found about this panel, you usually have to press system reset twice before it. It'll actually say system reset in progress. And once that resets, we'll go on over to the 4005. So the Genesis is a two wire alarm, so that's on NAC1, but the Spectral Alert advances on NAC2, so that's why that's still flashing. All right, system is reset. I took the hearing protection off. I'm going to put it back on now. Sorry, guys. I know this is kind of uh, the trend of this video, putting the camera down. 
All right, now to make things a little easier, since I have it, I'm not going to use the pull station. I'm just going to use the uh, manual evacuation button on the enunciator for the 4005. So here we go. Three, two, one. There, not too long. I know you guys are probably hoping for longer, but like I said, I really don't want to um, have the cops called by my neighbors or anything. So let's put a reset in the system. And uh, now for updates. So um, as you guys know, my uh, 4602-9102 enunciator is uh, kind of bare. It's been without a faceplate ever since I got it. So um, a YouTuber reached out to me. He doesn't have any videos on his channel, but he reached out to me, and we are um, currently having a discussion over email. He has um, one of these um, RCU units that's in bad shape, um, and he's kind of parting it out, and he said he can sell me the faceplate, so he's up in Canada. So we're talking about that right now. We're actually talking about shipping, so hopefully... Come the next system test, I'll actually have a faceplate on this thing. He said it comes with screws. I don't know if I'm going to need to purchase the back box, too. So the screws will um, go through and stay, but I'm very much looking forward to that. This thing's going to look like it should, you know, with the um, faceplate over it. So if anyone knows where I can get any more of these, um, I'm sorry, they're trim plates, actually. If anyone knows where I can get any more of these trim plates, especially the... Um, the 9111, I would like to know because I would also like to get one for my um, 4603-9101, even though it's not currently usable. Um, the wiring, I know I mentioned changing out the wiring in the last video. I haven't gotten started with that yet due to lack of time. Um, and the other thing is I hopefully should be getting some more stuff pretty soon. My coworker Bob um, said pretty soon he'll get to looking through his garage, see if he can find me anything else as far as um, fire alarm devices go, but let me uh, sign into my phone really quick here. I um, have grown very accustomed to scavenging, scavenging um, the Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist to look for stuff, and um, I came across this ad on the uh, Marketplace for these new fire alarm notification appliances in Northbrook. Illinois and um, check this out. Check out this lot. We've got um, Gentex system sensor, um, spectra alerts, low frequency sounders, um, spectra alert advance, um, wall mount and ceiling mount, horn strobes, LED, um, we lock exceeders. I believe that's what it says, LED wheel lock, um, horn strobe, and speaker strobe, so, and some other stuff in there. So um, I reached out to this guy. He hasn't gotten back to me yet. Um, the message hasn't even said delivered on Facebook. I don't know why, but I was hopefully I was hoping to go pick these things up today um, to take the trip up there and pick them up. I offered him $100. So we'll see what comes of that, but um, a lot of alarms in that lot that I would like to get into my collection. So um, we'll see how that goes. If I go pick that stuff up, that'll be um, a video I'm going to make, hopefully an adventure video going to pick this stuff up. So um, hopefully some uh, cool stuff coming. And um, once again, this year, I'm going to try to be much more proactive at getting these uh, system tests uploaded. So anyway, that was test number 46 for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I'll keep you guys updated and stay tuned. Thanks for watching and have a good night.